A group of Racine Lutheran High School students allege they have been the target of hateful rhetoric and dehumanizing incidents they say while are on school grounds. Fox 6's Angelica Sanchez was at a press conference where community leaders say the school's not doing enough to address their concerns. Angie joins us live. And I immediately want to point out, we have yet to hear from the school on the allegations that were made this morning. But seniors that we spoke with, they just want to see some meaningful change before they graduate. I just want equality at school. I want to go to school and feel like no one's going to taunt me for my skin color. A group of minority students from Racine Lutheran High School were joined by community leaders Thursday morning to publicly demand swift change in their high school. After a discussion with parents, and students that it is our understanding that the students do not really have someone at school that they feel confident enough to trust. Leaders included the heads of the NAACP, Racine Branch, Forward Latino, the Racine Interfaith Coalition, and the League of United Latin American Citizens. The issue here is not just one incident, but a series of incidences that have occurred over the years. Students say they had enough following a recent event during Spirit Week, where students wore shirts with the words Trump's wall written across a brick design. Showcasing that in front of minority students, um, that, that's where the biggest issue was for, for my daughter. Community leaders say another concerning incident happened just this week, where hate speech was written on a bathroom stall with a swastika underneath. They say talks with the administration seemed promising a week ago, but further discussions with families showed them the extent of the problem. And as we continued to meet with parents and students, more and more came out. They have created a list of short-term and long-term demands that lay out what they see as a more diverse and inclusive environment for minority students and parents. Now, Fox 6 reached out to the school's principal multiple times today. We were told that he was in a meeting. So as soon as we hear back with a response, we will update the story both on air and online. Reporting live in Racine tonight, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News. Angelica, thank you.